Hello and welcome to the registration process for the South Australian Living Artists or SALA Festival. This video is intended to guide you through the registration process. Upon logging into the SALA online portal, you will find yourself at the registrations landing page. Here you can view registration resources to assist you with your registration, register for the SALA Festival, apply for a SALA award, Submit a profile or view available profiles on the Artist and Venue Finder. View and update your personal details and log out. We are going to focus on the Exhibition Registration section today. However, please feel free to explore the other sections of the online system or to contact us if you need support navigating these features. From the Exhibition Registrations tab, you will have been taken here to Registration's landing page. Select Create a new exhibition registration. Begin the registration by reading both the SALA Participant Terms and Conditions and the SALA First Nations Rights Policy. Once you have read these and understand these documents, you will need to tick that you agree to these. Next, select what registrant type you are. New is for somebody who hasn't taken part in SALA before. Return is for someone who has taken part in SALA before. While seasonal is for those who have consistently taken part in the festival for over three years. Select the event type from the drop down menu. The first couple of options solo artist, 2 to 10 artists, 11 to 20 artists, and 20 plus artists are dependent on how many artists are taking part in the exhibit. You will need to select the appropriate number for the amount of artists involved. The Open Studios option is not for exhibitions. Instead, this is just an opening to the public of an artist working space. Education, as the form suggests, includes kindergartens, primary schools and high schools, but can also include mature age high schools and home schools. And last, a special event is for events like workshops, forums or presentations, but can also take a variety of different forms. Once you have selected the event type that best describes your SALA activity, you will see that the system updates the cost of your registration. You can also choose to upgrade your registration to a premium registration. This guarantees you a photo of your work in the printed program and additional text for you to be able to describe the event across printed and online. To upgrade to premium, just click this box and you'll be able to see the price update. Please note that pricing is subject to change year to year and that the pricing in this video may not reflect the pricing when you are registering. Please be sure to check the SALA website for up-to-date pricing. The promo code section is available for you to input a promo code if you have been supplied one. If not, you can move on. The contact details for the SALA correspondence is where you need to supply the details of for whoever is going to be the primary contact for SALA. This is in case we need to reach out to you about your registration, but also so that you are kept in the loop about the registration. Often this primary contact person is you, the person putting together this registration. Let us know what type of category you identify with. If none of these are accurate, select Other. Input your first name, last name and other contact details as requested. Once you have input your event's primary contact details, you can choose to add any other individuals who you might want to keep in the loop by saving their emails here. Often registrants will input all of the artists involved so that they are aware of the registration and the information that has been submitted. And last on this page, if your billing address is different to the one above, select this tick box and you can input your separate billing address. Once you're happy with the information, please select save and continue. But before we move on, please note that at the bottom of every page in the registration, there is the option to preview the registration and to save and exit. Previewing is for when you have added more of the registration information on the pages that follow, 
but the save and exit option allows you to save and return to the registration at any point up until registrations close. Now it is time for you to input information about the artists involved with the event. These are the artists that are either exhibiting or undertaking the activity you are registering for Sala. For each individual artist, input their first name and last name. There is the option if the artist has a profile on Shopsala for you to input the URL to their profile. If you are doing this, make sure to include the HTTPS at the beginning of the URL. Then for each, make sure to select Save Artist. If you don't hit this button, the information will not save. If, instead of individual artists, you are registering a collective or group, you can input their name here. This can also be added in addition to the above individual artist names, so that in the program audiences can see that there is both the group and the artists who are a part of that group. Let us know here how many artists are involved, and across the following fields, input how many of the artists involved fall within these categories. If you have none, please input a zero. Once you are happy with this information, select Save and Continue. Now it's time for you to add in information about the activity you're undertaking. Start by selecting the appropriate experience level of the artists involved. If there are multiple levels of experience, choose Mixed Group. Select the medium type that is most accurate description of the works that will be included in the event or exhibition. You can select multiple options from this list. Contact us if you feel like there is no category that reflects your practice. Next, add in the exhibition or event title. We encourage you to be creative about this and find something that speaks to the nature of the event or the content of the works involved. Do not use a title that includes Sala as we are likely to return to request that this is updated. Here is where you add your text description for the print program. This should explain what audiences can expect to see or experience in a concise way. If you have chosen a standard registration, you will have a limit of 15 words. If you have a premium registration, this increases to 25. If you find that you require the additional words that a premium registration offers, you can navigate back to the registration page and upgrade your registration at any time. Here is where you add your text description for the online program. You have the opportunity to share a longer description here, but we do ask that it is still concise in its communication about the event or exhibition you are undertaking. You can also opt to simply repeat the print program description here. You can add in websites for artists or collectives and groups that are involved. These will be published online and audiences will be able to navigate through to these from your online listing. Be sure to select Save Website for each. Here you will need to select the appropriate event type. You can select one or multiple from this list, but please be sure only to select options that accurately describe your Sala activity. Next you can choose to indicate whether there are any artists selling their work on our platform Shop Sala. If there are, please ensure that you have added their profile links in the previous page of Artist Information. And you can select the option to indicate that your event is family friendly and suitable for children under 15 years. To help us with promoting your event or exhibition, we need you to share with us some publicity angles. This means stuff that makes your event unique or interesting facts about the activity you are undertaking. This information goes to our publicity agent, who then finds where your story might fit in with different media outlets. So it is important that you are clear and concise, as our publicists will be looking through hundreds of registrations, and you'll want to make it easy for them to get to the key information. As such, it is best to supply your information here as short, to the point, bullet points. Lastly, on this page, you can add any additional activities that might be happening as part of your event or exhibition. These are activities that are directly linked to the registered event or exhibition and take place at the same location. Select the activity from the list provided. Give the activity a title that helps describe what the activity is in a concise manner. Add the date of activity and don't forget to click here for the time. In the important details section, you can include some additional text to describe what the activity is. 
You can let audiences know if they need to bring anything along or whether you are supplying stuff like materials. Include here the pricing, whether free or at cost, and be sure to let people know about any booking details. If bookings are required, make sure you tick this box and that you have either included relevant information about how to book in this field or supplied a URL to an online booking system here. Make sure to hit save when you are happy. You can then continue adding other additional activities or move to the next stage of the registration. You may now want to preview this information that you have input by selecting preview. Otherwise, once you're happy with this information, select save and continue. Now it's time to put in the details about the venue you are undertaking the event or exhibition at. If you're undertaking an online exhibition, the section requires a little less information. Just select this tick box, scroll down and add the appropriate URLs. For registration, these must include a URL to the actual site where your online event or exhibition will take place. This could be on a website or social media. You can also add a link to information about your online event's accessibility information. If you're not an online event, you won't select the above tick box and instead you'll input the venue's name and type, selecting other if none are applicable. Here you can request additional venue stickers if needed. Here you can let your visitors know if they are required to pay to enter. And here you can let audiences know if the venue is wheelchair accessible. It is really important to give this some time and attention, as while you may assume the venue is accessible, there may be ways that it doesn't meet standards that aren't as obvious to non-disabled people. Click on the question mark and you can find some more information to support you in understanding whether your venue is accessible. Now you will add in the contact details for your venue, ensuring that the venue contact has been consulted with and all the information provided is correct. You cannot input your own details here unless you are affiliated with the venue. These contact details should be for a representative of the venue. You'll add in their phone number, email, any website or social media links, making sure that you are adding links with HTTPS at the beginning and not social media handles. Again, you can add a link to the accessibility plan or information here. And then fill out the address details. One field that behaves a little different because the information is linked to features that help share where your venue is located. When adding the suburb, please start writing the name, but select from the drop down. If you don't select from the drop down, the information will not input correctly. Finally, you can indicate where you want your Sala stickers and posters to be delivered. This can be the same address as above or a different one. You can also leave some special instructions, which could be things like where to leave at the venue, but unfortunately this section can't include specific delivery times or dates, or a request for the distribution company to call you in advance. Once you're happy with this information, select save and continue remembering that you can always preview your registration or save and exit if needed. The next part of the registration is adding in the dates and times that your event will be open and available for the public to view. Start by letting us know the start date, then the end date, making sure that at least one day falls in August as this is the month that Sala takes place. Next, you'll need to input your days and times. All you need to do is select the day of the week, then when your event opens on that day and when it closes. If it is the same hours for multiple days, just select the additional days. If you have different hours on different days, you can add another set of days and open times by clicking here. Now you can select a different day and input its open hours. You will notice that there is the option to select an event that is viewable 24 seven or that is open until late. Select these if they more accurately reflect the times your event is open. If you have a date that you know the exhibition won't be open or has altered hours, that falls within the time frame that you have indicated it will be open, you can let us know by adding another set of days and opening times, but this time selecting the exception tick box. Select the week that this is applicable for from the drop down, then the day, and advise whether the exhibition is closed or the alternative open hours. 
This can be a fiddly process, so we have a show calendar view to help you visualise the dates and times you have indicated your event will be open. Click this button and you will get to see the information you have added above, mapped out in calendar form. The last thing you will need to input is information about any opening event you might have. This is an optional thing and not every exhibition will undertake an opening. But here you can add the date and times of the opening, along with a link if bookings are required. Again, you can choose to preview or save and exit. But if you're happy with this information, select save and continue. And now is your chance to add an image that reflects the type of work or event that audiences will be able to experience. You will need at least one image, but we recommend having at least two. If you have a premium registration, you can add three and are guaranteed that one of these will appear in the print program. If you would like the guarantee that a premium registration offers of a printed image, you can navigate back to the registration page and upgrade your registration at any time. To add an image, I would suggest starting with browsing for it and uploading it here. Once added, keep in mind that you can move and crop your image as needed. Then add the title of the work in the image, select the medium used from the drop down, add in the artist name who is responsible for the artwork in the image, and the dimensions of the work in centimetres. You can then repeat this process to add your additional images. You'll notice that you have the option to select which one of the images uploaded is your primary image. This will be the image that is used as the feature image. And for those with a premium registration, this will be the one that appears in the printed program. Again, you can choose to preview or save and exit, but if you're happy with this information, select save and continue. You are now at the final stage of the registration form. You can choose to donate to Sala Festival to support us to continue celebrating South Australian artists. Whether or not you have chosen to gift Sala with a donation, the total cost of your registration will be displayed here. And if you select I am finished submit my exhibition registration, you will be prompted to confirm that you understand that this is how the information you have supplied will be listed in the Sala program. If you are happy, select the tick box and hit Submit My Exhibition Registration. If you need to make any changes, navigate back through the form to the appropriate sections. If you have missed any information that is required, you will now be prompted to add this in. Once everything is all good to go, you will be prompted to make payment either by credit card online or by supply of an invoice. We recommend payment via credit card. Once your method of payment is confirmed, your registration is lodged. Be sure to check your emails for notifications and particularly if you nominated to pay via invoice, as this will have been emailed to you. But that is all for the registration form. If you have any difficulties or run into any technical issues, please be sure to contact the Sala team.